and electricity in this building. We take what we want. Click. Oh, click. Welcome to OVW. The following is the Women's Nightmare Rumble! Ellie just brought herself over that top. Oh! I would say that was very smart, though. Why would you go? Was that to save oh. Layla? Action. Let's not talk about it anymore. Let's get into the action right now. There's only one man who can get us on the road. Eric, my man, tell him who's fighting. Your opening contest for OVW Rise is set for one fall and a non-title bout. Introducing first from Port City, California, the Vision of Ryan. Guys, calls himself the Vision. The man has been training at Dark Arts Gym with Malachi Black and Selena Vega. And really looking to change his career trajectory in 2024, Josh. Well, we've seen a huge change in Orion. Both his, his actions, not just his actions, but his name as well. And his opponent from Jonesboro, Arkansas. He is the OBW Heavyweight Champion, the Arkansas Roughneck, Shotgun Tony Champion shotgun, Tony Gunn. Brian, two things he loves to do, drink whiskey and kick ass. And well, he just drank the whiskey. 
Yeah, 50% success rate right now. We're only making it 100 by picking up a win over Orion. Now, OVW Honest, Chant and Tony, showing their appreciation for the OVW Heavyweight Champion, the fighting champion that he is. Shotgun, Tony Gunn dethroning Jack Vaughn for the OVW Heavyweight Championship. You know, that, that was the thorn in Gunn's side for so long, Brian. You're absolutely right, but now, Josh, I think that uh, that Thorn might have a little bit of bleach in his hair after the Nightmare Rumble. Real one coming out and eliminating Tony Gunn. As Tony Gunn had no idea he didn't enter the matchup. And then a little uh, verbal exchange after the fact. Tony looking to get multiple championships, looking for his chance at NWA Gold, but it was not meant to be thanks to the real one. And I think that Tony's going to take out some of those frustrations tonight here on Orion. I don't disagree whatsoever with that statement, Steve. Well, Tony Gunn can't sleep on Orion, though. An incredibly well-trained oh. competitor. Look at that. Educated feet coming into play, but oh, Tony Gunn. Gunn slides through, trips up the leg of Orion, and Gunn, man, he's, he's almost like a teacher in there, Brian. Tony he knows how to school you. You're, you're absolutely right. The Arkansas Roughneck. Oh, could teach a class or two, but look at that, catching Orion mid-air. Tony Gunn showing some strength. Spins him through, hooks him for a suplex, trash flex on a gun. Look at Orion immediately shooting up the paint. Had to be searing down his spine, Steve. Orion reeling after that one, and the OVW Heavyweight Champion now. Is he looking to go to the top rope? Perched high atop. Oh, but look at that, Orion almost... You saw him just get that extra energy somewhere, going to almost like a dark place and hitting that rope. He hit those ropes with authority, too, knowing that it would knock Tony off. And now, picking apart the carcass. That was like a hungry piranha there, Josh. You, you got to think the opportunity that he's in there against the WWE Heavyweight Champion is not lost on Orion. No, not at all. And Orion wants to capitalize on this in any way he possibly can. Orion had that springboard knee scouted and now just taking the fight to gun in the corner. If there's one thing Gunn loves is a good fight. When I saw this card listed, or this match in particular on the card earlier, I knew it was going to be a good one, but my goodness. Good. Punches and chops out of Gunn. That Arkansas violence party just beating down Orion. Raining down southpaws Orion here. Looking like he's a little worse for wear. Tony Gunn might be circling in on a victory here. Knee right into the temple from Tony Gunn. Orion now dazed, confused, making his way out of the corner. Oh, big diving knee from Tony Gunn. You guys, you got to think it away. Tony Gunn wanting to send a message to real one here after their exchange at the Nightmare Rumble. I think you're right, Brian and Tony. He's loading up for that kill shot. Oh, oh but Orion smartly rolling out of the ring. He saw that one. He may wear a blindfold when he comes down, but his vision was 20-20 there. Look at that Tony Gunn. Oh, hold on, hanging him up on that top rope. Orion using the distraction to his advantage there. Orion now climbing up to the top rope. Gunn just, just climbs up, smashes Orion in the temple. Something that I've noticed is the real one is bringing an aggression out of Tony Gunn that we haven't seen in a long time. I mean, he choked the man with his damn belt on Saturday. You met Tony Gunn. The man is walking aggression, but I think, Steve, I think at least the real one might be under the skin of Tony Gunn. Might be getting in the mind of Tony Gunn, which maybe that's his plan. <laughs> what? How Orion, do you plan for that? Orion rolls through with a heel kick right to the side of Gunn's head. Orion, he wants you to see him. I think he wants management to see him as a viable OWB heavyweight champion contender here. Oh, Orion man. screaming, look at me, and Gunn sure did. Knee, but now a back elbow from Orion. Kill shot! What happened midair? Orion tried to springboard back. Gun caught him with it. I don't think we've ever seen that before. Here's your winner, the OVW Heavyweight Champion, Shotgun Tony Gun. We've seen a lot of kill shots over the I don't think over the years. I don't think it even been out of the air. No, oh, I've never seen that. got over here. Looks to me that I'm staring down the barrel of a Fugazi. Because you certainly ain't a real one, phony gun. And hey, I know I'm a marked man, but you're a mark 
man. And the difference between you and a real one, phony gun, is that when I take shots, I don't miss. Dr. Burnett, dog, Swiss cheese. But there ain't no holes in my game. The Don, Teflon Don, Big Soap Parmesan, make them melt. Muscles marinara, I got the sauce. And you can call me out. Whenever you want to provide a safe working environment, because you ain't going to catch me slipping in that locker room, dripping with jealousy. If you want a real champion, call me, because right now you got no Al, Snow, Balls, chance in hell of having one in that building, especially with a phony gun, because everybody knows you got low T, phony gun, and you shoot blanks. How you doing? Wrestling. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The wrestling brand. America, home of the free. Free is our favorite word. Huh like free refills. We get it. <laughs> That's why at Morgan & Morgan, our fee is free. That means you don't pay anything unless we win your case. Injured? Call Morgan & Morgan. ForThePeople.com It's free! And now, the OVW Money Move of the Week, sponsored by Gary C. Johnson. Oh, Haley slipped down from under Tiffany. Haley powerbombed Tiffany to the freaking table. Cover by Haley. Wait a second. The Bad Girls Club making their presence felt here. Ellie and your 2024 Nightmare Rumble winner, Layla Gray. After everything that they just went through in that rumble. Oh! That was the OVW Money Move of the Week, sponsored by Gary C. Johnson. We go for the money. All of the money. You see all these? These are all scars. All scars that I have went through because of my love for this business. Some of those scars are all physical, but you know what? They heal. The ones that don't heal are the ones that are in here. I had an impact to be made at the Nightmare Rumble. And it was all taken away from me because of opportunity. Somebody wanted to come up behind me and then Cal Hero and drop kick me and eliminate me and take that opportunity to use me to do so. Well, Cal, when we go face to face tonight, let's see how good of a hero you really are. The following contest is set for one fall. Introducing first from Brookville, Indiana, they call him the Man-Man, Donovan Seesaw! Holy that, 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 that. Family show, but I hear that sentiment as Donovan Cecil stomps his way to the ring. Made a good all though with the family in it. Kentucky's strongest man, Donovan Cecil. Guys, we are in for a hoss fight. Donovan Cecil's going up against another super heavyweight here today. And his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina, the veteran, Chad. favorite person in the world, but I will admit in 2023, when you kick the doors down, grab the OVW Heavyweight Championship, and put everybody on notice, people stepped up their game, Josh. We saw a side of people come out when Jack Vaughn kicked the doors down. It just get the line. Yeah, and the, the issue with it was, though, Jack Vaughn, by hook or by crook, doing anything he could to retain that OVW Heavyweight Championship until finally, you know, taken down by Tony Gunn. You gotta think that Vaughn wants that championship back and he's gonna try to make an example of Donovan Cecil here tonight. That's a hell of an example to make, Josh. That's, 
I mean, this is an over 300 pound man. The strongest man in the entire damn state. And then on the flip side of that coin, Jack Vaughn, former, former multi-time oh. heavyweight champion, Kentucky heavyweight champion. What an opportunity for Donovan Cecil to, to show his medal. And Cecil drawing a line in the sand, so to speak, in the middle of the ring, just challenging Vaughn to come and get him. Yeah, that Vaughn side headlock thinks he's got him. Guys, Jack, I gotta say, Donovan Cecil did not look too impressed with that side headlock. But Cecil up and over. Cecil, agility, a man his size should not possess. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Donovan Cecil didn't move. Jack Vaughn went flying trying to give him a shoulder tackle. Jack moved a whole hell of a lot. Now he's got him up so easily. With, and now oh. Jack Vaughn's turned it into a sleeper. Donovan just lifted a seven footer like he was a child. Look at that, just tossing him off like he's nothing. Jack Vaughn being manhandled by the mammoth. Donovan Cecil ain't nothing to play with, man. Hold on. No, 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 no. Look at that. Just <laughs> flings Jack Vaughn like he's a child. Jack Vaughn, guys, we can't stress enough. He is a super heavyweight. He is over seven feet tall, and Donovan Cecil just having his way oh. with it. Close to 300 pounds in his own right. Just flattened there by the mammoth. Donovan Cecil, guys, he might be picking up a statement win here tonight, a career-defining win if he can put away Jack Vaughn. So far, it looks like he's going to be doing just that. Vaughn slides out. out. Somehow escapes desperately. Oh, look at that. That's that veteran difference, though, I assume, Josh. Donovan Cecil, his own aggression and momentum used against him, Vaughn sidestepping. That's exactly what happened. Vaughn taking the advantage now, Vaughn. Oh, I thought Vaughn was gonna go for a dive. I think all of us but, uh, held our breaths there. <laughs> but Donovan Cecil, unimpressed, the chop from Jack Vaughn doing no damage. Jack thinking to put him away. Oh, God! Lucha Vaughn just got lit up with a double chest slap Drop. by the Mammoth. That's two Mammoth hooks coming down on the chest of Jack Vaughn. Are they hooks? Whatever they are, they were effective. Donovan Cecil, Josh, has had control of Jack Vaughn almost the entirety of this match. I mean, impressive performance so far. And now Vaughn trying to beg, plead anything he can with Donovan Cecil to stop this onslaught. Smart move by the veteran. Get the hell out of Dodge. Offered his hand, show respect here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Cecil clamps down. Once again, you said it. Kentucky's strongest man. Sends Vaughn into the corner, but Vaughn gets that boot up. Uh, now you heard the bones crack from over here, but look at Jack Vaughn finding an opening again. That veteran wiliness, finding an opportunity and making it work. Oof. And just a one count before he's tossed away. Vaughn can't believe it. Donovan Cecil. Oh, Vaughn tries <laughs> to go for a DDT. Cecil. The immovable object. Oh! His base is just too strong. It's that low center of gravity, I'm telling you. Kevison, you would know all about that. Oh, no, no, no. Cecil charging through. Oh, the ring shifts a solid six inches. Donovan Cecil showing he belongs here tonight. Oh, what a back suplex. I thought he was going to kip up for that for a second. Josh, it would surprise me with the abilities of this kid. Donovan Cecil now rolls through. Centon. Lord. The agility by the big man. Was Donovan Cecil going for a raise or something? He is killing it here tonight. Jack Vaughn in serious trouble. Donovan feeling it going in there against one of the best in all of wrestling. Make a name for yourself, Donovan. Do it here. It almost sold out Davis Arena. Oh, hold on. Oh, come on. Are oh, you talking about a veteran maneuver? Vaughn right to the eyes. Creates that separation. Donovan Cecil can't see. Right into the post goes Cecil. Jack Vaughn capitalizes and rolls him up. Oh, and a handful of tights out of Vaughn. Vaughn steals it. Here is your winner, the veteran, Jack Vaughn. Jack Vaughn just went for the ride of his life, guys. Jack Vaughn just stole that match from Donovan Cecil, but you got the OVW management has to be impressed with how the Kentucky strongest man took it to Jack Vaughn. Yeah, Donovan Cecil was beating Vaughn from Hiller to Post. February, a time for love, a time for romance, and a time to break shit. Hot 
Point presents OVW's Tough Love. Saturday, February 10th on pay-per-view. Get your tickets now before they're gone at ovwrestling.com or to order and watch online. Don't miss all the superstars in action for Tough Love. Presented by Hot Point. Saturday, February 10th on pay-per-view. When pain or an injury is keeping you from the game of life, we want to help you get back to your golf game, your yoga game, to the backyard games, the home games, back to the fun and games. Pro Rehab Physical Therapy, official physical therapy provider of Bellarmine Athletics and the trusted choice for keeping you in the game. If you've ever dreamed of being part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment, make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, the OVW Academy with Al Snow, the birthplace of legends including Batista, Brock Lesnar, John Cena, Randy Orton, The Miz, and many more. Will you be the next name added to that impressive list? Visit OVWAcademy.com and apply now. Wicks Pizza Rewind. It's an unpredictable night. Oh, and off oh. goes Cal. Cal eliminated. Luke Curtis fresh as a daisy. Only has to take out one other comp... What the hell? Cal Hero. Cal Hero. And we know what's at stake here. A shot at the NWA Championship. The, the, oh, hold on. Cal Hero. Oh, oh, my gosh. He's in through his fellow overman. Certified Blue. Curtis! That was the Wix Pizza Rewind. Wix Pizza on Baxter Avenue and Heights Lane in Louisville. It is me, Cal Hero, OVW Rush Division Champion, and tonight, Shane Mercer. We met in the Rumble. I eliminated you, and I am sorry, but... Dude, 64 minutes. I had to go 64 minutes to the very end, taken from me. I'm hurting. My ribs bruised. My shoulder, I'm lucky it didn't pop out again. Tonight, call me good, call me bad. Because I'm going to eliminate you one more time. Folks, well, we are in the aftermath of the Nightmare Rumble. It's an incredible show, but Josh, one person in this Hollywood Haley J not necessarily having an incredible night. Yeah, Hollywood Haley J, a uh, little medical update. She's mildly concussed. She's healing up. If fans, if you want to send well wishes, cards, whatever, send them to Haley J here at the Davis Arena, 4400 Shepherdsville Road in Louisville, Kentucky, 40218. Steve, you talked to her a little bit earlier today. Haley J had a message for all the fans, wanted to wish her well. Yeah, you're absolutely right. She did. She says thank you very much from the bottom of her heart. She will be back soon and better than ever. Well, folks, speaking of better than ever, our OVW Women's Division better than it ever has been, and let's go ahead and get into some action. Eric, my man, tell him who's fighting. Thank you, Brian. The following contest is a non-title bout set for one fall. Introducing first from Albuquerque, New Mexico, Angelica Risk. Angelica Risk, guys, she's got history with NWA and several other organizations, made her debut at OVW at the Nightmare Rumble. Josh, what an impression she made. That she did. One of the must-watch or must-see competitors coming into OVW here early in 2024. And her opponent from Fairbanks, Alaska. She is the OVW Women's Champion, the Queen of the North, Freya the Thea. Regardless of where anybody else might be affiliated, whatever training they may have had, at the end of the day, they are not standing tall as OVW Women's Champion. They are not Freya the Slayer. Has had the honor of sharing the commentary desk with Freya the Slayer and Mickey James with the Nightmare Roman. I gotta tell you, Freya the Slayer is one of the most well-composed, well-spoken champions. I've had the pleasure of sitting down with him sometime. Great insights. And you got Josh, she watched that whole match. Not intimidated by a single of those 20 women. More excited about the challenge. Yeah, Freya, you have to think, was scouting every single one of those women, trying to look for weaknesses, weak points, 
during that women's nightmare rumble. Angelica, Angelica Risk, excuse me, is, uh, like I said, a newcomer here in OVW, Brian. You said that she made her debut at the Women's Nightmare Rumble. You have to think that Freya, though, had an eye on her. Look at that size difference there, Josh. And here's the thing. Queen of the North is going up against someone who calls herself one spicy quesadilla. Spicy AF does Angelica Risk consider herself, and she's a little firecracker. And look at that. Showing you she's not scared, not backing down. Freya doesn't seem to be too intimidated by the newcomer. Freya, who had a, let's say, a tumultuous 2020. Hold on. Oh my God! What a I, chop out of Freya! And Helica, that was a risk. And Freya made you pay for it. Like I was saying, 2023 wasn't her best year, but she's starting 2024 as champion. Well, as much as change, things change, more they say the same. Freya thought the Bad Girls Club was in her rear view mirror, but now Layla Gray won the 2024 Women's Nightmare Rumble, becoming the number one contender straight in front of the line to face Freya for the OWB Women's Championship. That she did, and you know, Freya has had the Bad Girls Club in her sights for quite some time now. Freya, you've got to think, is looking forward to getting her hands on Layla Gray. But now Angelica Risk wanting to make Freya Think about her, not think too far ahead into the future. Pay attention to what's in front of you now. I guess I gotta tell you, I don't, I'm still learning about Angelica Risk, but I am so impressed with the fire inside of her, that never say quit attitude. She, look at this, trying to roll up the champ right here. But Freya just too strong, too powerful. Ooh, punch right in the middle of the forehead, a la Terry Funk. Oh, but nobody home. And the damage that that'll do to your spine the breath taken out of your lungs. We talk a lot about size advantage, but Angelica use it. Her size against Freya there, making Freya do damage to herself, then beautiful running Hurricane Rana. Not even a single count on that cover. You know that if Freya was standing on her feet, no way would that Hurricane Rana be able to be performed. All right, now you're seeing Angelica risk find out exactly who our OVW Women's Champion is, Freya the Slayer. Oh, being taken down though, and Angelica Risk really showing out here tonight. You gotta think that short Hurricane Rana, Freya being so close to the canvas, it just drove up the impact of that move. Now Risk, trying to keep the advantage here, swings through. Taking out the champ there, and Helka really utilizing that speed advantage. And here's the thing, you know, this had plenty of time to scout Freya. Freya, she at least saw that Helka in that 20 women rumble. How much could you really get to know someone's fighting style in a rumble? Freya smartly taking a moment to catch a breather here. Oh, what does Angelica Risk have in mind here? Taking a big risk, but look oh, at Wow! What a boot from Freya! See how high she got that up? Right to the face! Wow. Freya really asserting her dominance there. No, hold on. Taking a little Alice in Wonderland here. <laughs> Chop across the kick. Excuse me, chop across the chest, axe kick to the back. That's a deadly combo that'll break an iceberg, Josh. And Helica Riss drops and takes it to the outside. Freya, she might be zeroing in on a win here, Steve. And uh, she's got to be thankful that she did go to the outside. Otherwise, this match would have been over. Hold on. Freya might be looking for a choke slam here. <laughs> oh my God. Just planning and Helica Riss. And your winner, the OVW Women's Champion, Freya the Slayer. Looking for pop? These shows got them! Looking for Marvel? DC? Anything in between? These shows got it! This one game room not enough for ya! How about two? Looking for your cosmic or mythic legions? Barnyard commandos? Mad balls? Me so got, got it! The city's largest selection of paints and brushes for your gaming miniatures. Missos got it! 
Miso's got, got everything. everything. Spin on down with the rest of the honorary outrunners to Miso's game room and collectibles. Why? Cause Miso's got it! The following contest is set for one fall. Introducing first from Huntington Beach, California, the most successful man in pro wrestling, Carson Trey! There we go, Carson Drake recently signed the NWA, the most successful man in wrestling, and he calls himself Jack Vaughn. You gotta think uh, Jack Vaughn somewhere not happy about that, but guys, Carson Drake looks incredible. Carson Drake in phenomenal shape, great haircut too. Looking incredible, guys, looking like a throwback, and you gotta appreciate that he doesn't skip leg day, he doesn't skip arm day, he doesn't skip chest day. Carson Drake in the best shape of his life, Steve. Coming in looking like a supermodel. And his opponent being accompanied to the ring by Crystal and Katie. The Vaughn Rockets from Liverpool by way of Los Angeles, Ryan Vaughn Rockets. Right there. Yeah. All right, BJ Jones, if you no. take the calendar. Hey, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to go. I got to go take care of the ladies. Sit Stay down. I'm fluffing. What's the hat? You guys well, I don't think that means me. Oh. Oh. Von Rocket now. Carson Drake saying, I will pay you to stop playing. Carson Drake got that big contract money and looking to spend it and consider stopping the rock to be a worthy investment, I guess. Looks like KD and Crystal, uh, they're not opposed to the most successful man in wrestling. They let the cut of his jib. Hey, he's making that Smashing Pumpkins money now. It's different. Right now, Carson Drake looking to smash the pumpkins of Ryan Von Rocket, but the look on his face is correct. He might be looking to smash a couple more pumpkins later on. This is by far the glitteriest that I have ever seen Von Rocket. It's disgusting how much body glitter he has on. I mean, and that's the thing. You, you go home, that divorce dust is everywhere, whether you've been around him or not. It just, it's, it hangs like a miasma in the air. Oh, I love it. Here we go. Carson Drake squared off with Ryan Von Rock, a former OVW heavyweight champion, former country with Oregon's heavyweight champion, champion, former tag team champion. Ryan Von Rock, he might be glitter, but he's also successful in OVW. It took Carson Drake 0, 0.0 seconds to realize that the real money's outside. Uh, Ron Rocket, not too thrilled that uh, Carson Drake's looking over at Katie and Crystal. A rare furrowed brow for Von Rocket, usually the most jovial man in OVW. Josh, let me ask if you're Carson Drake, do you maybe uh, give a little attention to Crystal and Katie to get inside the mind of a Ryan Von Rocket, as scary as that sounds? It's a great mind game to play against someone like Von Rocket. Which, yeah, he might be one of the most jovial men in the room, but think about it, he's a rock star, he's a little vain. So, oh, Drake with a running cross body, wiping him out. And to not be the top dog in the eyes of his two groupies, the Vaughn Rockettes, that may very well be getting to him. Thank you for actually picking up on something for once, Steve. Vaughn Rocket, look at this again, and says, look at this, Carson Drake tossing some money to Katie Christmas rolled up. Do you think if I go down there, I could get some money? Nope. nope. 
Well, think maybe if you go, I think if you go down there, all you're going to get is a restraining order. Might pay you to leave, though. Another one? Carson Drake, look at this. Trying to pay Von Rocket now. Oh, oh. hold on. A little disrespect to the rock star, Carson Drake. Oh, the smile on Carson Drake's face, I think he knows very well that he is under the skin of Von Rocket. Oh, tries to sweep the leg a third time, chop across the chest of Von Rocket. Didn't quite land flush there, Von Rocket able to get that boot up. But look at that, taking Rocket out there. What an elbow from Carson Drake. Now Ryan Von Rocket rolling to the relative safety at this moment of the floor. Looking to get some consolation by the Von Rockets. I think he's directing traffic, telling him where to go. I think the police had some of that money tucked away. Now, Carson Drake working on Ryan Ron Rocket's own tantrum, working against him, and still, Von Rocket find a way to get the advantage. Rocket with a kick to the temple. Oh, and now just slamming Drake down by his hair. I mean, if you're hot, say you're hot. And right now, Von Rocket is double hot. Von Rocket coming unhinged here. Oh, you're seeing that permanent grimace come in, that scowl of Ryan Von Rocket. Big atomic drop. Looking to neutralize any advantage Carson Drake might have when it comes to the Von Rockets. What a right hand to the point of the jaw of Drake. Literally. And now just shoving that $100 bill into his mouth. Literally trying to put his money where his mouth is. Look at that, cheek rail and roll neck breaker. Here is your winner, Ryan Von Rocket. Ryan Von Rocket picking up the win, but guys, you gotta think Ryan Von Rocket a little unhappy with the way KD Christopher just ogled there by Carson Drake. Thrown off his game to say the least, but still able to pick up the win. Wrestling, a love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Korokan Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The wrestling brand. America, home of the free. Free is our favorite word. Huh. Like free refills. We get it. <laughs> That's why at Morgan & Morgan, our fee is free. That means you don't pay anything unless we win your case. Injured? Call Morgan & Morgan. ForThePeople.com. It's free! And now, the OVW Gorilla Bob's Grub Shack Attack of the Week. He's got it sunk in! What the hell? Bunch of mass men out here breaking. I warned you before this match started. I would fire each and every one of you. Take the masks off. We all know it's you, Joe. We know it's you, Luke. We know it's you, Adam. Just go ahead, take the masks off. Who the hell's in the ring, boss? That was the OVW Gorilla Bob's Grub Shack Attack of the Week. It's love in your mouth. Nightmare Rumble ending with a bit of a who done it? But Al Snow, Justice Flummox got a lot of questions for the Overman. Maybe we'll get them answered later, but Josh, I know the answer was coming up in February. Yeah, that's right. Ladies and gentlemen, OVW presents Tough Love. Tough Love is one of those shows where, you know, hearts get broken, memories get made. And Brian, I hear we're getting close to selling out already. Yeah, absolutely right, Josh. Tough Love's a big one, folks. You're not going to miss it. Get your tickets to OVWrestling.com right now and find out exactly why sometimes Love hurts, but Steve, we got a main event coming up. But that's in the future, and we're not talking about Will Austin. Right now, our main event right around the corner. Shane Mercer looking to go one-on-one -on -one with the Rush Division champion, Cal Hero, who put in over 63 minutes in last week's Nightmare Rumble. Let's see how much he puts in tonight. The main event, there's only one man that can get us there. Eric, my man, tell him who's fighting. The following contest is set for one fall. Introducing first from Louisville, Kentucky, the Iron Demon, Shane Mercer.
Shane Mercer is one of the most scarily strong human beings I have ever met in my entire life. Gosh, no, you're not wrong. The man does things that are just unthinkable, unbelievable. He's a walking highlight reel. Bet you saw those scars on his back. He has fought tooth and nail to get to this moment, to get to this opportunity. I feel like Cal Hero took that from the Nightmare Room. And his opponent from Cedarburg, Wisconsin. He is the OVW Rust Division champion, Cal Hero. Hero, who we were just saying went through hell this past Saturday, over an hour, and the second opportunity to get a shot at the NWA World Heavyweight Championship, but fell just short, guys. Just a little shy, he fell Cal Hero. You gotta think that the leader of the Fanny Pack Party wants to make it evident here tonight against the Iron Demon why he should get a shot in the future. We said it a million times Saturday night, folks. You don't have to win the Nightmare Rumble to really make your name that night. But Cal Hero did win, but he definitely put everyone on notice. Over an hour in the Nightmare Rumble, came in at number two, almost won the whole damn thing. You talk about making moments. Plenty of moments made at the Nightmare Rumble. Shane Mercer with a couple of his own, making the impossible possible inside of the squared circle. Shane Mercer is gonna try to do anything he can tonight to make Cal's life a living hell. Shane Mercer, again, offended by the uh, seemingly Cal hero, he said, stole his opportunity. Nightmare Rumble eliminated with a surprise drop kick. Shane Mercer out here for revenge, out here to prove he belongs in the upper echelons of OVW. And guys, if I were here to make my mark, Cal Hero's one of the first guys I would go after. Cal's gonna have to try to you know, like hit and run here tonight against Mercer, things like that, because if Mercer can really get a hold of him, get his hands on him, Mercer will pitch him clean into the fifth row. So you're absolutely right, Cal Hero cannot go streak to streak with Shane Mercer. Cal's got a example right there. So like I said, Mercer is scarily strong. He's, there's a reason this man is called an absolute juggernaut. Shane Mercer, and Steve, to your point, can make the unbelievable believable inside the squared circle. But not only is he strong, but you saw the scars up and down the man's back. He knows pain. He seems to enjoy pain. Pain is nothing new to this man. We've heard the old adage, it's not how many times you can hit, it's how many times you can get hit and keep getting up. Jay Mercer showing he can do both those things. Cal Hero, gonna be in for a heavy test tonight, but guys, let's not sleep on Cal Hero. Um, an OVW Rush Vision champion, former tag team champion, a man who just went an hour long in the Nightmare Rumble and almost won the whole thing. Cal, one of the favorites here of the, the OVW faithful in the Davis Arena and around the world, if we're being completely honest, with the amount of heart and tenacity that Cal has, you gotta think that he, he feels slighted. You know, Cal got two chances to win the Nightmare Rumble. He got that second, that second chance. And then Luke Curtis, oh, 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 Cal tried to go for that fanny pack knee. And Luke Curtis eliminating him. You gotta think, what's that mean for the Overman? You're absolutely right. We're gonna find out a little bit later on. What does Luke Curtis be the number one contender for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship mean for the Overman? Is EC3 thrilled or is Luke Curtis gonna be you know, looking out for himself? We're gonna find out a little bit later on, but right now, Cal Hero, Shea Mercer, trying to battle for a spot towards the top of the ladder. You gotta think OW management thinks highly of both of these men. And, and you, you look at talk, that. You wanna talk about a tumultuous 2023. Cal Hero ran through the ringer in 2023, and now in 2024, starting it off in there with the Iron Demon. And let's not forget those bruised ribs of Cal Hero, Josh. Yeah, and Mercer going right after it. Cal fires back out the clothesline. Yeah, they, we saw Shane Mercer toss Cal Hero in the air and catch him for a power slam in the Nightmare Rumble. Well, just a highlight among highlights, and you gotta think that that helped that mid sixer Cal here that helped him leave with an injury. Hold on, what is Cal thinking here? Got Shea Mercer on that top rope, Josh. Shot to the top of Mercer's head. With all the adversity that Cal Heroes faced, somehow he still keeps kicking. Oh, look at that. Cal being tossed up and over by Shea Mercer. Cal with the shoulder into the midsection. Mercer maybe trying to drive the wind out of him, but gets caught. Look at the agility from 
from Shane Mercer. Good Lord, oh, hold on. Oh, hang on. Mercer maybe going for that moon salt and battery if he can get a hold of Cal. Uh -huh. Looks like he's, uh, what is Shane Mercer planning here? Got him up for almost a, got a stall suplex on the middle turnbuckle. Oh, Cal throwing knees to the head of Mercer. Just collapses down into a pinning predicament too. Mercer able to get the shoulder up. You got think Cal Hero thought he had it there. Using Mercer's own momentum on that fall, trying to roll him up. And you know that that fall did damage to those ribs. You know Cal Hero's already in bad shape. Well, those ribs are bruised, folks, and all those deep breaths Cal's taking, trying to get some oxygen in there that hurts every single time, and Cal running on adrenaline. Yeah, you've got to think the adrenaline right now overriding the pain receptors in Cal's brain, because Cal doesn't seem to be feeling those bruised ribs at all. Tries to go for a dive, but Mercer cuts him off. Hold on, hold on. Oh, if he wasn't feeling the bruised rib before, he sure is now. He just suplexed him into that steel beam. Are you kidding me? When pain or an injury is keeping you from the game of life, we want to help you get back to your golf game, your yoga game, to the backyard games, the home games, back to the fun and games. Pro Rehab Physical Therapy official physical therapy provider of Bellarmine Athletics and the trusted choice for keeping you in the game. If you've ever dreamed of being part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment, make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, the OVW Academy with Al Snow, the birthplace of legends including Batista, Brock Lesnar, John Cena, Randy Orton, The Miz, and many more. Will you be the next name added to that impressive list? Visit OVWAcademy.com and apply now. Mercer in firm control of this matchup right now. Cal Hero trying to get some footing somewhere, cranking those elbows to the side ahead of Shane Mercer. And all throughout the break, Mercer kept going back to the ribs, Steve, but look at this, just a hand on the throat. Right by the throat, now lifting the man up over his head. So strong is Shane Mercer driving him on that top turnbuckle. Pops him up into the air, power slam. We saw that at the Nightmare Rumble, guys. That was the start of his rib problems, and now just exasperating him. Oh, two count. Barely got his shoulder up in the nick of time. I don't know if it would be considered an upset, but right now, Cal Hero is getting taken to the woodshed. Jay Mercer can't believe that wasn't three. I mean, guys, he knows how powerful he is. He knows how ca hurt Cal Hero is after the Nightmare Rumble, how, how bad a condition those ribs are in. He also has to understand the never say die attitude of Cal Hero is Mercer now, which is a forearm right to the spine and now a shoulder. Cal Hero got that never say die attitude, a heart so big, I don't know how he fits into Davis Arena. Right now, Shane Mercer targeting those ribs, oh. targeting that midsection. Just flings Cal so hard. Cal left his feet, he hit that top turnbuckle with his lower back. And it looks like Shane Mercer isn't even sweating. Trying to get back into this same person though. Might be inching close to win the Iron Demon. Looking to put Cal Hero away. Oh. Cal reverses it. Mercer takes a hard buckle. Cal pulls something from somewhere, Steve. He's got something in the tank. Still. Is it going to be enough? Is it going to debilitate Shane Mercer enough for Cal Hero to get anything going? Not taking Shane Mercer off guard there. So Cal Hero might have a little more time to recuperate, but Shane Mercer's got to get back on the attack. Cannot give Cal Hero room to breathe. See referee Daniel Spencer checking on both competitors. Mercer understands the importance of this match. It's your hour one main event, ladies and gentlemen. He wants it to go all the way to a conclusion. He didn't want to count anybody out here. Cal fighting back into this. Ooh, right hands being exchanged between both these competitors now. A battle of wills, and look at that. Jay Mercer getting the better, and right back to that bear hug. Right. Yeah. Back to the ribs, squeezing the air, squeezing the life out of the Rush Division champion. And now Mercer cranking down. The way he's got his elbows pointed down, he's trying to put more and more pressure on those lower ribs, those floating ribs of Cal Hero that are damaged. Cal's got grit and determination for days, but guys, he is still only human. Shane Mercer trying to ring out Cal Hero, trying to put him down. 
After spending over an hour in the ring this past Saturday at the Nightmare Rumble, Cal Hero, we didn't know how much he had in the tank to begin with. Shot across the shoulder blades. Cal's got, Cal has gotten Mercer to break his grip. Ooh, Cal clapped the ears, disorienting the Iron Demon there. Cal off the ropes and Mercer snatches him again by the throat. Hold on, Gorilla Press turned into a roll up. Cal got him down. Two. Mercer able to power his way out of it. It should be lining up Cal for a shot. Cal blocks it. Cal still somehow fighting back into this, finding that extra gear somehow under the beautiful lights of DC Productions here. And you hear the OVW faithful chanting him on. This might be exactly what he needs. Mercer shot in the buckle. Cal Hero finding that extra heart somehow, guys. That's why he's a multi-time Rush champion, a tag team champion, you name it. That's why these fans love Cal Hero. He does not quit. Cal using the ring almost like a weapon there to do damage to the Iron Demon. And it might be the only way to put him down at this point. Shane Mercer collapsing there. Cal Hero, it's Cal Hero thinking here. Gonna have to pull out the big guns. Realizing that he's gonna need something special to take out the Iron Demon. Cal yeah, going to the top rope. Big cross body, Shane Mercer caught him in air. Mercer, also the game's going for a fallaway slam. Catches Cal with the back elbow. Ooh, Northern Larry to the back of the skull. You heard that impact. Cal Hero crumbling. Two count, somehow. That was two and three quarters if I've ever seen it. I think Jay Mercer and everybody else in this building thought that was it. Cal Harrell somehow kicking out. Must have been an instinct. I'm seat. starting to think the referee doesn't know how to count to three. I don't see how that wasn't it. Mercer sends off Cal. Cal, though, ducks the line. Quick roll up to. Missed the roll of the Fanny Pack D. There oh, it is. Nowhere. of it over Shane Mercer. Uh, Shane Mercer did not make anything at all easy for Cal Hero in this match here tonight. Looking for pop? Bezos got him! For Marvel, DC, anything in between? We so got it! This one game room not enough for ya! How about two? Looking for your cosmic or mythic legions? Barnyard commandos? Mad balls? Me so got, got it! it! The city's largest selection of paints and brushes for your gaming miniatures! Me so got it! Miso's got, got everything! Spin on down with the rest of the honorary outrunners to Miso's game room and collectibles. Why? Cause Miso's got it! There's an electricity in this building. We take what we want. Click. 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 Welcome to OVW.
Raiders fresh as a days. He only has to take out one other competitor. What the what? hell? Cow! Hero! Cow Hero! And we know what's at stake here. A shot at the end of the NWA Big back body drop. How? How is he doing this? Oh, hold on, oh. Cow Hero. Oh, oh my God. He's in his own home Certified Luke Curtis! I did commentary right over there five days ago. And my final words on set were, to quote the Terminator, I'll be back. It's as simple as this. I'm gonna do a little reading uh, from a text, October 9th, 2023. Hold on momentarily here. Al is probably losing it back there. You got this. <laughs> I basically said, Al, it's Mick Foley. Like I said on IG, I really enjoyed the documentary. I've got a few Thursdays free in January and February. Maybe we could do something together. And then the magic words, no money needed. Which brings me to a serious point. I'm here because I was inspired by the documentary, Wrestlers, on Netflix. I'm here because I got the same goosebumps backstage, the same nerves, the same fears before walking out here that I used to get on big pay-per-view matches. WrestleMania. One of the students who is now one of the top wrestlers said, I remember when you spoke to us in 2016 and you said, hey, we all get to define for ourselves what our WrestleMania moments are, whether it's inside the ring or in the game of life. And so I have accepted Al's invitation to be something of a talent evaluator. during my free Thursdays in January and February. 
So we're going to start out. I can't evaluate everyone in one sitting, but a man who caught my eye, who I went on uh, uh, live television saying was my new favorite wrestler. Jack Vaughn. Yeah, you're darn right I'm talking about Jack Vaughn. There we go. Jack B captured my imagination as something I used to refer to as fire and pizzazz and the strongest mustache game this side of Sam Elliott. So I'm giving Jack Vaughn a nice, solid B rating. Next up, Cal Hero, that's right. Known Cal since he was a baby. Have the photos to prove it impressed me with his heart and his guts, something I used to refer to as fortitude of the T testicular variety. Over an hour in there against bigger, stronger, more experienced men. I, I was nice to Cal when he was a baby. Thank you for your consideration. And I'm going to give Cal, I know this sounds cruel, I'm going to give him an A. Minus. Only because I don't want Cal getting all content with the fact that his friend Mick Foley gave him an A. I'd love to be like Ralphie's teacher in his dreams with the A plus, 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 plus. But until you get the job done, Cal, and I know you can get the job done, we're gonna keep it there as an A minus just to keep you inspired, okay? But I think you're gonna be rather pleased with Cal's grade uh, in comparison to my next person here, uh, talking about a certain Tony Evans. Uh, oh, my writing has suffered here. Tony, I didn't see much of Tony because he didn't make himself visible. While on a certain degree, I admire his urge to hide underneath the ring while everyone else was working their hearts out. I have seen fit to give uh, Mr. Evans an F. Uh, which does not mean he does not have the potential to change that, turn that upside down. He's got the potential, but man, when you've got a showcase like the Nightmare Rumble, You've got to do what you can to catch people's eyes. This is your chance to take it to... What? Hush. Got the music. Hush. Now, I wrote something for you right here, Mick. I don't know how good your vision is, but that says hush. Now, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the hardcore legend, Mick Foley. Hush. Give it up for the king of cheap pops and cheeseburgers. Now you see, this nostalgia act was cool for about five minutes, Mick. But that five minutes is up. And it's my time to be in the ring now, Grandpa. So with that being said, I've got a little problem with it. Now, now, now look, Mick, I just, I, I don't, I don't agree. Hush! Now, Mick, surely, surely you mean Tony Gunn. Surely you mean Tony Bizzo. Tony's Pizza, somebody else, it can't be me. I'm talking about you, Tony Evans, and here's the thing. You talk about being in your ring. You had the chance to be in this ring. I was in the that ring. That Nightmare Rumble, you were all around it. 
I looked at the initials to see them. Let's go through a quick read through. New York Times, two time number one best selling author. I can tell you the initials say O B W. That's Ohio Valley Wrestling. If the initials read O B H and stood for Ohio Valley Hiding, you'd be one of the best. Not just one of the best, but you'd be like the Brett the Hitman Hart of hiding. You'd be the best hider there is, the best hider there was, the best hider there ever will be. And don't pull that hush stuff on me. I heard it one time, I don't like the way it makes me feel, and I will ask you to kindly, look at there's a shirt there saying, be kind, where's the young lady, there we go, be kind. I'm a visitor to your home here in Louisville for the next few weeks. The next few Thursdays, let's see if you can do everything you can to not use the H word on me unless they start using the F word on you. Now, Mick. You've got to be mistaken. There's got to be a way I can make this up. There's got to be a way that I, I deserve an A, Mick. I am the best damn thing we've got in this locker room. There's got to be something I can do to get me an A. Okay. Um, I have to tell you, Tony, I flash back uh, to every time between the late 80s and the mid-1990s when a certain gentleman named Vince McMahon said that Cactus Jack would never step foot inside a WWE ring. And then you know what he did? He gave me the opportunity to prove him wrong. And so I did. So what I'm going to do to you tonight, here, right here in Louisville, before I grab myself a cheeseburger, I'm gonna grant you that same opportunity. My new three-word catchphrase is, prove me wrong. I like it. I'll tell you what, I'll trying. tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Mick, I'm gonna go up next week and I'm gonna find the biggest, I'm gonna find the baddest, nastiest, meanest, gargantuan person back there. And I'm gonna beat him so you have no choice than to give me an A like I deserve. Have this ready. Evans, look at impressive Nick Foley. Josh. Can he prove him wrong? A time for love, a time for romance, and a time to break shit. Hot Point presents OVW's Tough Love, Saturday, February 10th on Pay-Per-View. Get your tickets now before they're gone at ovwrestling.com or to order and watch online. Don't miss all the superstars in action for Tough Love, presented by Hot Point, Saturday, February 10th on Pay-Per-View. Wrestling. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The Wrestling Brand. America, home of the free. Free is our favorite word. Like free refills. We get it. <laughs> That's why at Morgan & Morgan, our fee is free. That means you don't pay anything unless we win your case. Injured? 
Call Morgan and Morgan. ForThePeople.com. It's free! Me. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the creamiest tag team of them all? Well, it's gotta be us, the Wet Dream Tag Team, the Milk Slayers, Big Daddy Splash, and Sweet Daddy Nasty. And tonight, after we booty clap the Outrunners, me and Big Daddy O over here, we're gonna go hog hunting down on Baxter Avenue. Oh, sparing! <laughs> you know, the Outrunners, they stole in here tonight. And they expected, after what they did in the Nightmare Rumble, for us to be silent. But we will not be silent. We will, however, be violent. The Iron Lion, yes. Luscious Lawrence, the Bahama Land Superman, Omar Amir. Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Omar and Luscious. OVW, Thursday night, here to bring the pain. Ooh, the Thunder Baby. <laughs> The following contest is a non-title bout set for one fall. Introducing first from the Derby City, Big Beat, Narles Garvin, and Big So, the Destroyer. Just here, man, the most known Evan Dutton, Bolton Davis Arena. Have we reinforced everything for this freaking matchup? <laughs> yeah, we had to earlier today. Four of OVW's biggest and baddest are going to be locking it up here next. Big beef, big zone. That's big enough, but their opponents? Mountain steep. And their opponents, they are the OVW Tag Team Champions. The team of the Indian Lion, Mahabali Sira, the proprietor of the Chop Shop, Cash Flow, the Golden Lion. OVW Tag Team Champions, the Golden Lions, two of the most impressive men to ever step foot inside of a professional wrestling ring, are looking for a fight tonight. The OVW Tag Team Champions, the Golden Lions, non-title contest, but you know that the Destroyers want the OVW Tag Team Championship back in a win tonight might put them up in the rankings. Pound for pound, this may be one of the biggest matches we've had in quite some time. And Josh, when you look at both sides of the ring, Cashflow, Big Zo, two men who know each other incredibly well. And without a doubt, Cashflow and Big Zo, record holders here in OVW for the longest ever tag team championship reign, both combined and consecutive, before those belts were retired, those championships rather. And now we're gonna see Cash Flow and Big Beef locking it up, starting off. Now, if I'm correct, if I'm wrong, Steve oh, does, does Big Beef pie face like, Cash Flow, and he paid for it immediately. Here's why, though. Big Beef is kind of like a younger Cash Flow, and never say die attitude, uh, Smash Mouth style, all power. And the kids got Moxie, I'll tell you that. But by God, Cash Flow nearly slammed all the damn Moxie clean out of him. Cash makes a quick tag into Mahabali Shira and Shira looking to take over on Beef here. Well, folks, when you look at Cash Flow and Shira, it is the first tag team made up of former OVW National Heavyweight Champions. First time in OVW, that's been a thing. And that, Josh, I think that speaks to the imposing force that is the Gold Lions. Now, without a doubt, it goes without saying that when you have Cash Flow and Mahabali Shira on the other side of the ring from you, it absolutely gets into your head. Cashflow got beef up. Spine to pine. Oh. Good lord. What a spine buster out of cash flow. And so beef has to make the tag into Big Zoe. He's turning the ring into a half pipe. Followed up with a big chop, Steve. The Derby City Destroyers, former resident ass kickers and tag team champions, in there with the Golden Lions, and just like that. So, putting the Pearl Harbor job on his former teammate in the legacy of brutality. Well, Cash didn't see the tag, didn't realize Zoe was a legal man. And you see that sense of urgency that Zoe has. Zoe he knows that you can't let Cash get any momentum behind him, or it's all over but the crying. You know, and Zoe knows you got a, you got a small window. He's seconds to get one over on Cash Flow to get the advantage, or he's going to overpower you. He's going to overspeed you. 
And so, as his former tag team partner, Josh, you know, knows that very well. Without a doubt, I mean, Cash and Toe know each other so well. We spent so many years together destroying the OBW Tag Team Division. Oh, jeez. But they know each other inside and out. He chopped Big Beef so hard his legs went out from under. Good Lord. Shira cuts off Zoe at the pass, scoops Beef up. Huge scoop and a slam. Right now, current tag team champions firm control of the former tag team champions. Big Beef, Big Zoe, got to find some way to get back into this. Good Lord. The middle of that ring's taking a beating right now. And by God, they're looking to take on any and all challengers. They started damn near at the top of the heap. Here in 2024. Just drop Big Zoe with that big boot, sky high. Hang on, hang on. Payload. Good Lord. Here are your winners, the Golden Lions. The Golden Lions picking up the win here tonight. Tag making, champions. Making sure the OVW Tag Team Division is on notice. If your goal at the Rumble was to piss off the Outrunners, well, I got good news for you. Mission accomplished! You did it! There's no secret there's a lot of history between the four of us. And now you got your eyes set on the Outrunners? Well, I got some advice for you. Don't hunt what you can't kill! Tell them, Darb! Oh, bitches and cream, you bit the wrong fight this time! You're on the highway to the anger zone, and the outrunners are going eight miles per hour over the speed limit. Because if you haven't seen the outrunners, you haven't seen nothing yet. When pain or an injury is keeping you from the game of life, we want to help you get back to your golf game, your yoga game, to the backyard games, the home game back to the fun and games. Pro Rehab Physical Therapy. Official physical therapy provider of Bellarmine Athletics and the trusted choice for keeping you in the game. If you've ever dreamed of being part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment, make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, the OVW Academy with Al Snow, the birthplace of legends including Batista, Brock Lesnar, John Cena, Randy Orton, The Miz, and many more. Will you be the next name added to that impressive list? Visit OVWAcademy.com and apply now. Folks, welcome back. We are in the aftermath of the Nightmare Rumble. One of the most highly rated pay-per-views of all time. And Josh, someone who is maybe not rated the pay-per-view so highly, a Hollywood Haley J. Yeah, Hollywood Haley J suffering some injuries, mild concussion at the hands of the Bad Girls Club. Haley said, if you want to send some well wishes, some cards, send them right here to OVW, 4400 Shepherdsville Road in Louisville, Kentucky. You know, Haley, we love you. Steve, I mean, you talked to her earlier today. Yep, she said that she is getting better and she'll be better and back in the ring here in no time. And just be patient because she's got something huge in store for the Bad Girls Club. The Bad Girls Club go backstage right now where we got Dream Girl Ellie, Layla Gray, and Tiffany Nieves standing by. Bad Girls Club will get another win. Why? Because we stick together. I want to thank you ladies, especially you, Ellie, for jumping in there against Hollywood Haley J. You're a real one. You really are a real one. And that's why I also saved you from Freya. And that's why I had to win the Rumble because, listen, I know you faced Freya before yeah. and she's beat you a couple times, but I beat Freya, so no hard feelings, right? I can tell you're so happy, right? Can you yeah. prove to me that you're happy yeah. and you're so excited to be a part of Bad Girls Club? Yes. Oh, well, let's just oh, hug then. Let's okay. just hug. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know yeah, what? Great. Go ahead and finish oh, okay. up everything. You need. You're going to do great tonight. <laughs> We're gonna do great tonight. We carry the team. For one fall, introducing first the team of Island Girl, TT, Sophia Rose, and Hema. Incredibly capable competitors 
Sophia Rose from the Hero Wrestling Compound, Wisconsin. TT and Nella, all the way from Puerto Rico. Josh Wood, impressive Nightmare Rumble performance for her. Yeah, an absolutely fantastic Nightmare Rumble performance. One definitely to keep your eye on here at OVW. And their opponents, the team of La Princesa, Tiffany Nieves, Dream Girl Ellie, and the Patty Layla Gray. They are the Bad Girls Club. And then we have the Bad Girls Club. Two of the brightest superstars. With one in training, Ellie will get them. You know, Dream Girl Ellie shocking everyone when she joined the Bad Girls Club just a few short weeks ago. Main dividends is becoming a member of your board, though, Joe. Oh, oh, wait a second. Hang on. They look great calling for Michael. Settle down, simmer down, because the Bad Girls are here. I know this is your favorite time of the night, <laughs> but before we get started, But before we get started, we're gonna reintroduce the newest member of the Bad Girls Club, Dream Girl Ellie. Yeah. Ellie, tell them how much you love being a part of the Bad Girls Club. Tell them how this is the most important moment of your life. Okay, all right, that's enough. Looks like we got business to handle, get it? Got it? Good. Still trying to find that bad girl mentality, but hey, Josh, like you said, shockingly joined the Bad Girls Club, and since then has been helping them win matches and, and joining in on beatdowns, really becoming a baddie. Well, it's because Dream Girl Ellie is dangerous no matter what situation you put her in. And it's, I mean, it's a great get for the Bad Girls Club, and look at this, Ellie just driving him back into the corner by her hair. The only female to have taken part in Chain Carter's the most hellacious match in OVW history. Ooh. Take it down, Layla Gray is Emma. You got the Emma. Very unhappy with the fact that Layla Gray and Dream Girl Ellie eliminated from the Nightmare Rumble. Here we go, TT. Because they did have up to talk to Dream Girl Ellie backstage. I was asking why, what, what the hell happened? Where was the shift? Said, Brian, I've been doing it all on my own for this long and I haven't won a championship. Maybe it's time for something new. I mean, that's as good a reason as any, I suppose. But TT now taking it to Layla Gray, the, win the, the winner of the OVW Women's Nightmare Rumble. Turn there like a wakeboard. A little bit of mind games there with Layla Gray and TT. Then advantageous spot halfway through the Rumble after a win last Thursday. Earned that opportunity and fought tooth and nail. But Layla Gray, ooh, with the help of Dream Girl Ellie, made it all the way to the end. And now waiting for Freya the Slayer. And then the OVW Women's Championship. Layla Gray opportunity whenever she wants it. Sophia Rose now tagged into the match. Layla Gray quickly hit and run, gets out, but in comes Tiffany Nieves. Former OVW Women's Champion. Takeover into the headlock. Tiffany yeah. Nieves had a hellacious street fight with Hollywood Haley J. The Nightmare Rumble, guys. You gotta think she cannot be coming in here at 100%. No, after that street fight, you're never 100%. It takes a few weeks before your body feels like it's back to normal. And Sophia Rose now cranking away on that side headlock. I'll tell you who's not at 100%. That's Hollywood Haley J. <laughs> Haley J with a mild concussion. She will be back soon. Jim Nieves, you got to think grateful she's in there with three. Oh, oh women. hold on. Roll hit, through. Hitting predicament there from Sophia Rose. Beautiful maneuver by Sophia Rose. You say, like, Tiffany, grateful she doesn't have to bear the load alone tonight like a one on one. She's got team members, but Sophia Rose, she might just keep Tiffany in there. Tiff Tiffany comes back through with a kick to the temple of Sophia Rose. Counter to the counter, and now Dream Girl Ellie back in the matchup. Dream Girl Ellie said, and that's my friend. This Tiffany never has ran Sophia Rose's face into that turnbuckle. And look at Ellie in that primal scream. The Dream Girl Ellie is a real nightmare for anybody that's on the other side of the ring from her. And the guys, for weeks we saw Tiffany Nieves and Layla Gray coming out here scouting women's matches, scouting Dream Girl Ellie saw the potential in her as a, oh come on, as a cohort. When TT had seen enough of what was going on, referee's attention was was away from the corner of the Bad Girls Club, take advantage. And you talk about scouting, we've seen Aaron Stevens out here scouting the Bad Girls Club in the last few weeks. You know that he's watching from home. 
you know, he's been scouting just about any and everybody here lately, and you gotta wonder really who who's made that list of his. Right, what is that all about? Way more questions than answers. You're not on it. I, no. might, I might be, you're, you're definitely, I'm definitely not on it. Which it might be a good thing. Well, now you see Dream Girl Ellie tagged back in. So we're gonna see a double team maneuver here, possibly a double suplex from Tiffany and Ellie. <laughs> Rose planned with that double suplex. Look at that, Ellie and Tiffany working in unison there. Brilliant tag team wrestling. Bag Rose Club now taunting their opponent, asserting their dominance. Look at that, Ellie just a kick to the side of the head on Harley, uh, on Sophia Rose for good measure. You know, they could have gotten a pinfall victory there, taking a little bit too much time to gloat, but an up kick from Sophia Rose and the tag to Hema. Emma in a house of fire. We've seen her very impressive in just two matches so far in OBW. Looking for a big win tonight. Got a chance to be Dream Girl Ellie, a former and two former women's champions. Cleaning the clocks of all members of the Bad Girls Club. Ooh. Okay. What an axe kick right to the kidneys. Dream Girl Ellie's own speed used against her there. And Emma following through. Look at this, got a pin attempt. Oh, but Layla breaking it up. It could have been it. Look at the aggression from Layla Gray, the baddie, clinching that jaw and oh, laying down the long. Look at that spear. She came flying. Senton from Layla Gray. There's that basement lariat from Ellie. Here are your winners, the Bad Girls Club. Bad Girls Club picking up a big win here. And I gotta tell you guys, Ellie's still finding her footy, but this is a well-oiled team. Looking for pop? Beso's got him! Looking for Marvel? DC? Anything in between? Beso got it! This one game room not enough for ya! How about two? Looking for your cosmic or mythic legions? Barnyard commandos? Mad balls? Misos has got, got it! The city's largest selection of paints and brushes for your gaming miniatures. Misos got it! Misos got, got everything. everything! Spin on down with the rest of the honorary outrunners to Misos Game Room and Collectibles. Why? Cause Miso's got it! The following contest is a tag team match. Sip for one ball. Introducing first from Miami Beach, Florida, Truth Magnum, Turbo Floyd, the Outrunner. From the floor to the ceiling, they're sexy and appealing, and they are the youngest middle line, the Outrunners. You gotta spin it to win it. Win it. Jeez Louise, Pat Sajak, eat your heart out. You two embarrass me more and more every week. You know that? Just gotta spin it. And their opponents, they are the team of Luscious Lawrence and Omar Amir. Beaches! And Cream! Big Daddy Nasty and Big Daddy Splash, as they call each other, former OVW Tag Team Champions. And Josh, two men who went to absolute war together, but now find themselves on the same side of the battle lines. You know, that they do, and as much as I hate to admit it, what a team they make. Which one is Splash? The one from the Bahamas. Okay, that makes sense. How could you not figure that out? Well, they're both nasty. Fair. Looks like Big Daddy Nasty, Luscious Lawrence, starting out here against Truth Magnum. I can't get enough of it. And I cannot get enough of this match, and neither can the Davis Arena. This is going to be going to former OVW Tag Team Champions. Josh, you know exactly what the position's like. Former champions wanting to battle back into contention. Yeah, when you have been a champion before, that's the only thing you can think of. It's better money, it's more press, it's more eyes on you. And anything that you do is to get back to that championship. 
And Truth Magnum throwing that drop kick right to the sternum of Luscious. The very reason that these men and women get into the sport of professional wrestling is to be at the very top. All four of these men looking to have it again. Omar Amir. As we are fresh in the new year, I don't know anyone was a more talked about tag team in 2023 than the Outrunners. They pretty much showed up in every promotion under the sun. He showed up in NWA, showed up in AEW, showed up in OVW. I mean, the Outrunners were on everyone's lips in 2023. You gotta think. Luscious and Omar want to be on everyone's lips in 2024. Hang on, double suplex set up here by the Outrunners. Oh. Taking over Omar Amir. Omar Amir in serious trouble now. Former OVW heavyweight champion is Omar Amir. 12 to six elbow to the back of the head, creates the opportunity now. Hang on, Omar reverses that Irish whip. Ducks through into a waist lock. Now a reversal here by Truth. Back and forth, don't see no. There we go, Truth Magnum flips him over. Guys, when you look at Truth Magnum, yes, he's very, we'll say flamboyant, he's very energetic. He's also one of the most technically proficient professional wrestlers in OVW. Oh, a little oh, bit oh. of a low bridge there, but Truth tried to stop the momentum, ditches through the middle. Oh, and Omar comes back in with just a big overhand right. Well, that rope moving over better by Lawrence. A little bit of distraction. Omar Amir able to capitalize. And look at this double team maneuver while the referee's back was turned. Ooh, double suplex. Bringing him in the hard way. Hang on, cover here, cover. Two count Two. only, says referee Jake Floyd. So Turbo didn't get in there to try to break it up. They saw his partner had it. Didn't want to waste his one legal breakup in this matchup. Ooh. And just ripped down by that bleach blonde hair is Truth Magnum. And you guys, you see Luscious grinding, but guys, he's also grinding at the gym. Luscious has gotten the best shape of his career. Luscious wakes up grinding whether he wants to or not, but Truth giving him a little bit of payback. Truth pulling the hair of Luscious. Normally Luscious is into that, but not in this scenario. Look at that, Omar Amir up and over. Big Daddy O been tossed to the outside. So much grinding, so much spinning. I don't know what to do with myself. Wrestling. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The wrestling brand. America, home of the free. Free is our favorite word. Huh like free refills. We get it. <laughs> That's why at Morgan & Morgan, our fee is free. That means you don't pay anything unless we win your case. Injured? Call Morgan & Morgan. Forthepeople.com. It's free! Oh! Big shot to the mill section there. Luscious thinks he's got it here. Go for the pin. Truth able to keep that shoulder up, though. The referee needs to keep this match under control. It could very well go off the rail and quick. Who's was scratching the back of Truth, but not doing him any sort of favors. Oh, hang on now. Omar wanting the tag. Gets it. Coming in to help continue to pick apart. Oh, Truth Magnum just raking his nails down the back and a right hand to the side of the face. That was a closed fist right from the referee. Every Jake Lloyd being a little lenient with this matchup, but guys, Omar Luscious, oh! Do whatever it takes to pick up a win here. Omar again, those big looping right hands to the jaw. Referee forcing Turbo to get out of the ring. Turbo causes a distraction though, and that causes more issues than harm, or more issues than help. Truth Magnum was able to get double teamed there. You know, both of these teams looking to get their shot at the championships. But will they even make it out of tonight? See, Luscious almost cranking up the intensity, but look at that, Truth Magnum fighting, fighting out of that corner. Yeah, but there you saw Omar Amir tripping up Truth Magnum, cutting off his opportunity for escape. Truth's got to get to Turbo. Truth's been in there so long, taking so much damage. Three down there to check. Oh, and 
one. Truth might be out here. He might have had the energy this, sucked out of him completely. This could be it. That should look it deep, but no. So Truth close. not quite out of this one yet. So close to over there. Chin breaker. Chin breaker. And the oh, hell of a chin Omar, to break. Omar Amir causing the distraction there, coming in illegally. And look at this. Beaches and Cream switching, no tag made. In the crowd, they saw it, they are not happy, guys. Oh, God, Truth finding a way. Folded Omar in half. Will he be able to get to his partner? Turbo, you see, is wrapped up and ready to go. Turbo dying to get his hands on Beaches and Cream, dying to get in this matchup, Josh. Turbo chopping at the bit, fingertips away, but no, Omar Amir. Again, trying to play spoiler. Hang on. Truth now. Lance is beating up the tag. This crowd is on fire for the Outrunners right now. Turbo Floyd, finally the legal man. The muscle of the hustle and the muscle in the ring. Clean in half. Beating the bricks off of Beaches and Cream here. Just scoop slams for days out of Turbo Floyd. This crowd is deafening right now. Wow. The Outrunners have this Davis Arena crowd ripping and roaring like a jet ski with nods. Turbo thinking something big here. Diving double axe handle. Oh, nobody home. Ducks under the clothesline. Turbo, big right hand. Winding up. Got to spin it to win it. What a right hand to the temple, sending, what'd you call it, Big Daddy Nasty down? Big Daddy Nasty down, Big Daddy Splash. Looks like he's about to go on a ride from Turbo Floyd. Big Daddy Splash about to make a splash. Oh! And a knee to the spine cuts off that offense. Josh, you saw him using the whole leg there, went across the whole spine of Turbo. Hold on. Might be looking for that Beaches and Cream roast. Truth makes the save. Truth makes the save on Turbo. 2.999. Magnum saving this matchup for their team. Look at Luscious Lawrence right back on the attack. Oh. Lawrence up and over. Omar. Look at that. Oh my God. Going airborne once again. Who knew jet skis were an air vehicle? Oh, hold on. Small package. And the referee with his back turned doesn't see it. Hang on, Jake's back in position. Oh, hold on. Omar rolls through, foot on the ropes. Are you kidding me? Truth stops it, rolls him through again. When pain or an injury is keeping you from the game of life, we want to help you get back to your golf game, your yoga game, to the backyard games, the home games, back to the fun and games. Pro Rehab Physical Therapy, official physical therapy provider of Bellarmine Athletics and the trusted choice for keeping you in the game. If you've ever dreamed of being part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment, make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, the OVW Academy with Al Snow, the birthplace of legends including Batista, Brock Lesnar, John Cena, Randy Orton, The Miz, and many more. Will you be the next name added to that impressive list? Visit OVWAcademy.com and apply now. Revolver, 
and the 2024 Nightmare Rumble winner, certified Luke Curtis. Like it or not, certified Luke Curtis winning the men's Nightmare Rumble. Winning a shot in the NW World's Heavyweight Championship held by the leader of Yoderman, EC3. I can't remember the last time someone won a Nightmare Rumble did not go on to win the championship. You gotta think EC3, either very confident you right know, now or very scared. At the Nightmare Rumble, the odds were stacked against us. Adam Revolver, Joe Mack, Lou Curtis, all banned from ringside during EC3's championship match with Jesse Gutters, but you know what? We overcame, <laughs> just like the Overmen always do. But then in that match, three mysterious masked men came in and beat the hell out of Jesse Connors. I don't know who they were, but you all thought it was three threes got these three guys right here. But that's what you get for thinking, because you fell for it, you fell for it, you people fell for it. You all fell for it. Even that big buffoon Al Snow fell for it. But right now, shut up. Right now, I want to talk to the man with the plan, the man behind it all. The man who controls the narrative, the OVW National Heavyweight Champion, the NWA Champion, EC3. The dude! My boys, hello, how are you in Louisville right now? I'm in sunny Florida recruiting the future, the over men and the over women of tomorrow. But as I stand here now in this moment, I want to take one second and congratulate Luke Curtis on your big win. Let's, let's give it a round of applause. Congratulations, Luke. Congratulations, Luke. You did it. You won the big one. You secured your future NWA World Heavyweight Championship, which will go as according to plan. But as far as those three masked men, I have no idea who they are. I have no idea of their means, their intent. I have no idea what was going on. But I do know I retained. Hey, it's all going according to plan, right? We're all in on the plan. I'm in on the plan. We're on the same page, right? Adam Revolver, you're in with it. Joe Mack, you're down, right? And of course, I know the man who just won the Nightmare Rumble, Luke Curtis, certified Luke Curtis. You're in on the... You're in on the plan. You're down with it, right? We're all on the same page, right, Luke? Right? Right? Right, Luke? Come on, the light's on. Talk. Luke, we're in on it. Come on. Just rest for Al as well. Luke, Luke. I am your over father, Luke. What? You know the plan, Luke. Luke. Hello, over men. Hello, Al. Hello, EC3. Hope you're enjoying Florida. Love it. Saturday night, I was mistaken. I thought the three of you were in the ring helping EC3. And I've yet to find out just exactly who was in that ring helping EC3. But I'm going to find out. And when I do, I'm going to make sure they pay. Now, 
I'm sure you guys are aware, aren't aware, but Billy Corgan and the NWA and OVW and myself have had a long-standing working arrangement to where that's how we can have NWA titles like the national title defended here and also the actual NWA World Heavyweight Championship defended here. The same goes in the NWA since EC3 has the LVW national title. Billy has jurisdictional province over that title when it's in the NWA, just like I have jurisdictional province over the NWA world title when it's here in OVW. So as a result, I think I'm going to make an NWA World Heavyweight title match for right here in the Davis Arena. As the winner of the 2024 Nightmare Rumble, Luke Curtis, you get your world title shot February 15th against EC3. Curtis a Valentine's Day present. I don't know if Luke Curtis won it or not, but he's gonna get it. This is not fair for the Overman. Will be a heartbreak February 15th.